Hi, I'm Sharani Kotaria of the Power of Staff Networks. And I'm Richard McKenna from Inclusive Employers. And we're just going to have a discussion, a little chat about our forthcoming conference, The Future of Staff Networks, so you know what to expect on the day. Richard. Hi, yeah. Hi. Um, so, Sharon, mm -hmm. we've been talking about this conference for a while. What do you think are the key issues that we've identified that networks need support with? Wow, that's a big question, but the key thing that comes through a lot of the time is there is an assumption that staff networks know what to do. Mm. Uh, they actually know how to run a staff network or they know, they know how to you know, navigate what's going on in the organisation and be strategic and so on. There's also a lot of uh, issues around uh, simple things like time off to attend meetings and time off to do the work and once you do have that time off, what, how do you do that? How do you manage a team? Mm. Because staff networks are raising leaders and it's, it's supporting those to be the best leaders they can be in the organisation. I love that, the concept. You know, this is about developing our talent in our organisations yeah. and the talent within our staff networks. We have to support and develop those people. Do you think that actually organisations focus enough on supporting and developing the, 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 the people who actually are giving their time and commitment within staff networks? I think, I, I think that organisations believe that by endorsing staff networks and uh, you know celebrating them on those key moments in the, in the calendar is actually supporting them but I, my challenge to organizations is that's insufficient there's there's more that needs to be done it's about you know really listening to what the issues are and working with them to find some solutions in, in any other area if they were a finance group you yeah. would want to listen to them and it's almost, if it's diversity and inclusion, it seems soft or touchy-feely, mm. but it's not. It's, if, you neglect, if you neglect diversity and inclusion, you are going to miss out on so much for your organisation, mm. not just corporate health, but also on your bottom line. Mm. So, yeah. It's a bit like miss it. It's a bit like our conference, miss it, miss out. <laughs> but I think also the other part about that is, is the strategic, you know, the strategic element of it. Mm. We talk about um, you know, if it was a finance group, there would be a strategy in place. Absolutely. Um, one of the key things that we want to put across in the conference is actually some of the models that we've developed mm. over the years that are really successful. I mean, there have to be clear takeaways for delegates in this conference. And one of the things is about models. So actually, how do you develop a strategy that actually is is building everyday inclusion that you know what you're doing with you know how to measure yeah. and it links to the DNI plan the diversity and inclusion plan and often the strategic plan and I think that that those type of tools are essential but it's taken for granted that they will just happen but we never do that with any area any other area of business we don't we don't take it for yeah. granted we don't assume that it will just happen yeah. we purposefully design things to put in place to make sure that we achieve the ultimate goal and staff networks are an essential part of that and I think it's time for them to really step up and to be the effective voice that they can be mm. but at the same time we need organisations to step up and invest in their staff networks not just money but really invest in their development and their capability and their capacity and they will reap the rewards from that so I, I do think this is timely, the, the world is changing the UK workplace is changing, mm. so having that strong employee voice is essential more now than ever if you mm. want your business to continue to be successful. I totally agree that the, the, the concept that actually inclusion is potentially, inclusion and diversity is the glue that will hold your organisation together mm. and also create the innovation and the opportunity and the loyalty that actually, the loyalty that we, we see in yeah. members of staff networks, the commitment, people going that constant extra mile because they care passionately about the issue of justice, equality, inclusion, opportunity for all. Yeah. You know, we need to really start to cherish that. Organisations need to cherish it Absolutely. and invest in it, invest creatively in it. And also, we need ways to actually, for the networks themselves, to be able to articulate their purpose and their position. Absolutely. That's so important. Very, very important. And I think while there are other conferences talking about staff networks, mm. and we celebrate that, we want there to be lots of discussions around staff networks, at the end of the day, we want staff networks to uh, still be effective, to still walk away 
with knowing what they're going to do next. Mm. So it's nice to be exposed to what's going on in the staff network world, but when you get back to your desk, when you get back to your organisation, what are you going to do tomorrow? What are you going to do tomorrow? Yeah. And that's the beauty about our conference. We deliberately called it the Future for Staff Networks because we're not just looking at today, we're looking at tomorrow yeah. and the next day and the future. And uh, we are here to support staff networks and organisations who want to start staff networks or who don't understand their purpose. Mm. So, um, yeah. Please book your place. Yeah. The Future for Staff Networks. Uh, Sharon and I will be there. Yeah. We've got other great speakers. There's a choice of sessions to book to, to, to select. Um, it takes place in London, in just near uh, Borough Tube, on Wednesday the 28th of September. It's a full day conference and you can book your place at www.inclusiveemployers.co.uk or you can call Sharon or me or our colleague Danielle to find out more information. But we're really looking forward to seeing you there and focusing on the future for staff, staff networks. Absolutely. And whatever, I challenge you, what's the biggest challenge that you're facing in your staff network? No, in your organisation. Bring that to the conference and don't leave until you've got a solution to that challenge. That's, our, that's, that's what we are challenging you with today.